Hello everyone, this is the Painting with Commentary video for the Knowlzers Marvelous Miniatures Modrons Edition. Paint to Life Episode 15. You can find the episode link in the description below if you missed the episode. And this will be going through the painting and the colors of these particular Modrons. So, a little bit of a beginning. This is a Katachan flesh. Fun fact, I thought I would paint these as non-metallic metals. So, you can see in this kind of painting choppy time-lapse video that I have here. Um, I tried and failed horribly. Um, uh, Non-metallic metals is a tricky thing and as one of my fellow collaborators life reminded me, maybe start simple with an axe blade or something to paint an entire spherical object in a three-dimensional space with multiple lighting sources is a bit of a, a stretch for your very first time at non-metallic metal. So while this video starts out with a pretty ambitious plan, it descends into your standard fare with a little metallic brush and overlay to get uh, that swishy, swishy color that we all love so much, the reflective metallics. So I'm just painting the Modron. I'm starting with the base coat. Again, it was catch tan flesh. Um, you know, ultimately the failure of the non-metallic metal project was okay because it gave me a really cool base to put the metallic dry brushing on which worked just like the plastic gears and everything we're going to see in this painting video. So everywhere where there's metal on this Modron I'm using this Kachachan flesh brown including the spear and the um, bars that hold the wings and ultimately um, yeah I guess that's all of it. So there we go. Now here's the flesh color. Uh, it's a Kislev Flesh, I believe, yes. Uh, this is the fleshy tone that I used for both Modrons, the Monodrone and the Duodrone, which is the second miniature. Um, he's coming up next. And it's a good fleshy, Caucasian looking color. You can either tint it up if you want to go for a darker skin tone, add some blue to it. Or if you want to lighten it up, add some yellow to it. If you don't have other paints in your line to get different uh, uh, color skin tones that represent a wider range. In this case, I knew because it was mechanical, I kind of wanted it to be pale. That's why I used Kiss Lab instead of some of the dark ones. And I um, then I also used um, washes on it as well, which we'll get to. We have Deep Kin Flesh on the wings. Deep Kin Flesh is a sort of off gray with a slight green in it, which is what I was kind of going for for the feathers. It's a nice um, base feather color. And I knew I was going to be, again, washing all of these. But at this point in the video, I was still expecting to do non-metallic metal. And I was gleefully unprepared for the horror show that was about to um, <laughs> befall me. You have to appreciate, when making a paint to life video every week, you don't have much time to play around. If you make a mistake or, or don't get the results you're looking for in a relative short order, you have to improvise, adapt, overcome, Bear grill style. Because otherwise, you're going to run out of time. Uh, so Steel Legion Drab was the second color. As you see, I tried to wash it on there and, and make it like a bulbous. I thought that was, yeah, it looks like an orb with light on it. And the highlight at the top was Steel Legion Drab. Again, just to... But, I mean, all I'm doing is layering the brown, right? So I'm not going to talk anymore about the non-metallic metal because it's not ultimately what I did. And, oh, well, what the hell, I'll probably throw in one more nod to it later. But as I was saying, yeah, when you make a video a week and you have to film it and write a story and you have to record it and photograph it and, you know, base it. And the bases are a big part of my success in, in finished product. So, you know, this was a Sunday night test. And then by Monday morning, he was metallic right here. Golden Griffin dry. So when we spin him around, you know, you'll see I've dry brushed him that little orb. And now I'm applying Null Oil on top of it. But see, the nice thing is the dry brushing, it wasn't a waste, the Kachatan Flesh and the Steel Legion Drab, because the dry brushing gold went on top of it in a very um, nice way, I found. It, it was almost just like a, like almost like a layer or a wash. So the dark undertones and the gradient that I did have shows up underneath the gold. So it's not just taking your gold paint and painting an orb, it's better. And then the Null Oil Ceramite White. Um, sorry for the focusing issues here, folks. Um, and Hoeth Blue for the Iris. Looks really cool. 
Again, when filling an, an eyelet, like an eye like that, Ceramite White, just load the brush up and dab it on there. Let the gravity <clears throat> and the cohesion of the paint keep it into a round blob for you. Mechanist Standard Gray. Again, when I started this duo drone, I had planned to do the non-metallic um, metal. So this was going to be his first layer. Um, Again, one thing I should tell those of you who watch this video, who watch all the painting videos, I don't really have a way to control where my camera is. I don't have very great equipment. I do my best with what I have for this little uh, humble YouTube channel. So I can't, this is why I see it's riding real high. I really should have brought my hands down, but or moved the camera up to center the subject. But unfortunately, I don't have a monitor that shows me where I'm actually painting it as some of the other painters on the internet will tell you that's key to recording good quality painting videos, which is why I provide these more as a, hey, what's going on? Let's hang out and talk about what we do with our minis than a true tutorial, because this isn't really a tutorial. You guys are, you guys are figuring it out. Kiss Love Flesh. Like if I say things like dry brushing, I'm not going to, you know, you guys know what that is. And a Reekland Flesh Shade, which is also what I use for the monodrone as well. But yeah, I kind of consider this as like a little teeny stream session with just me. and You guys tune in whenever it suits you. Um, and we'll talk paint. And if you guys are painting, it'd be nice to hear from you. Uh, Necron Compound Dry Brush. So again, I gave up on the non-metallic metal. Take this Mechanist Standard Gray and just dry brush it with the uh, Necron Dry Brush. And it works out pretty well because everything underneath the dry brushing is gray as well. And this guy, I didn't want one to be bronze and one to be silver, although that's how it started. But you'll see, I'm going to give him a hint of color as well, other than just the gray, which makes them both sort of in the same line of metal, albeit one looking more bronze and the other one looking more coppery when everything is said and done. And the coppery one's the monodrome. But so uh, back to my point, yeah, he's riding high again, not in focus very well. One of these days I'll invest in some better equipment and have this nice centered focused 4K camera for you to show all the fun stuff. But for now, this is what we have. Brass Scorpion, again, a cool brass color, dry brush, that on there. It's not a dry paint, but I'm just applying a little bit. It's also weird because it was wet. It was on my wet palette, so it's kind of going on wet, but because it's so wet, it's smudging all over the place and it dries almost like um, what's the word? It dries like transparent. You can see the silver underneath. Typhus Corrosion on the same thing to give it some dirty look, especially the duo drone. And you can see I painted their feet to be the same color as the base, but I'm gonna cut them off their bodies. The, see those bases that are under both feet? I'm gonna cut those out with some snips and then shave the feet down because I knew the ultimate um, was gonna be Oh, there's the rat too from the story. The rat, the chaos beast, he's being colored. He's just a rat, a reaper, miniature bones. Again, cut off his base. I knew I was gonna be gluing them on the uh, base. So metal fab shop shavings, these are really cool. Those are so sharp, <laughs> uh, sharp metal color. Um, if you know of a machine shop, you know, stop in. I just went into Ryan's place and I said, hey, do you have any scrap? Look at their junk, look in their garbage, find cool stuff, see how sharp some of those edges are. So I used some tin snips to soften them out and they paint, they hold paint well and I made different colors and I had them sticking up. Now this is a burning gold paint from Green Stuff World. Um, it's a color shifting paint. So from one angle, it looks gold and from another angle, orange and yellow kind of shifts. So again, those are shop shavings that I put on there uh, for that ground cover. And then I took one of my son's old stem toys that he doesn't use anymore. I took all the cogs and gears out of them. Green Stuff World also sells little bags of gears if you want to do more techie like bases. This is going real fast. Um, but Typhus Corrosion again, where are the gears are yet? This is um, X19 smoke from Tamiya. It's a very oily looking null oil. It dries really glossy. So that's why I used it in the tech pile. And there's a like a zoom in close up of uh, the base. See those spiny spokes sticking up from the steel shop in different colors, almost like metal trees, I thought them as. And um, the gears are all dry brushed. You can see I've taken the monodrone there, cut him off his base to just glue his feet on. Anytime you're making a little scene like this, you don't want those big lumpy bases in there. Here's our duo drone, oh no, monodrone, zoomed in again with his big one, one big eye. 
And there's those wings with the Deep King Flash and the Null Noil on top just to pull out the highs. There's our SpongeBob SquarePants teeth looking duo drone. Uh, we'll see the see the gray coming through his, the top of him and uh, and the edging of the brass and his spring underside is gray. So all in all, uh, that's how I put this one together. If you have any questions, um, please let me know in the comments below. If you do like these videos, um, let me know what you like about them and I can make some adaptions. If I'm going too fast, if you want me to slow it down a little bit, I'm trying to keep them not too long. But if you have some ideas that you want them to, you know, you want me to highlight or go into something a little bit more, please just let me know and, and I can adapt my style to suit. Anyways, this is GMA Tank. Until next time, ciao. Wash your hands, people.